Hey YouTube, over the last couple of years I've started to self-host some of my own services. Uh, partly as a hobby, just to see if I could do it, and uh, partly to try and take control of my data and not uh, leave it with uh, some of the big tech giants like Google or Facebook. So I host uh, a kind of a landing page with my frequently used uh, sites and services. I'm hosting uh, ZoneMinder, which is uh, a camera system. Uh, just to keep an eye on the house. Uh, KeyWeb, which is a password manager, which everyone should be using by now. I know it really sucks, but it's the only way to really have secure passwords anymore. Any password that you can memorize is going to be easy to crack. I'm also using Convos, which is uh, an IRC client. So instead of having the client locally on my phone or on a computer, this client sits on my server and then hosts uh, an interface to that uh, that can be accessed from anywhere. I'm also hosting uh, a little static web gallery so it doesn't have any uh, dynamic elements to it. It just hosts uh, a short gallery of uh, some of my favorite artwork. And finally, uh, a Nextcloud instance, which is kind of like Dropbox. It lets you drop a file onto it and access it from anywhere in the world. All of these services are being hosted by uh, Apache on uh, or behind an Apache reverse proxy and uh, that means that they are directly accessible by the internet and anything accessible by the internet is going to be accessed by the internet. As soon as I started this project I noticed that my uh, access logs look like this. A lot of these uh, entries are from myself, but a lot of them are uh, entries that I have no idea where they're coming from. It could be uh, a nosy person poking around. It could be a bot trying to uh, find a vulnerability and work its way in. And uh, that got me curious, where are all these connections coming from? So I wrote a Python script that uses uh, a couple modules to um, parse all of my Apache logs and uh, SSHD logs and uh, make me a map of where these connections come from. Uh, to get the uh, position information on the earth, I'm using Shodan.io, which is a great service. It's a web search tool for devices instead of looking for web pages or web content, you can look for uh, physical devices like uh, cameras or printers or other things that really shouldn't be connected directly to the internet. I use Shodan quite frequently to uh, check my own network to make sure that there's nothing exposed that shouldn't be. So at the top of this script, I hand it a bunch of information on where to find my logs and how they're named. Uh, you have to have your Shodan API key. Uh, I believe it costs about $50 to get the key, but if you follow them uh, fairly frequently, uh, they give away free accounts a couple times a year. Then I take my uh, Apache log, split it up using uh, a couple rules so that I have the IP address and a little bit more information all separated from each other. I do the same thing with the SSHD logs. I do the same thing with the SSHD logs. I go through them line by line and try to find the IP addresses, make a list of all those addresses, and then make a list of only the unique IPs and uh, count up how many times each of those unique IPs tried to connect. Those two lists are combined together and sorted by how many connection attempts uh, each one tried to make. All of that information is then handed over to Shodan. And uh, if Shodan has information, it'll return uh, a lot of it, but I'm only using a couple data points, the country name, the city, the longitude, latitude, and the ISP of that particular IP. Uh, if Shodan doesn't return anything, I just fill in uh, dashes and zeros so that entry is easy to filter out uh, later on. 
If I ever want to do some uh, aggregate work, maybe look at a whole month or a whole year's worth of uh, traffic, uh, I output everything as a CSV file, uh, just including the IP, how many times it tried to connect, and its uh, location information if it was available. Finally, I plot. Finally, I plot all this information on a map, and that map looks like this. Depending on whether it was uh, a hit on the Apache server or the SSHD server, uh, you get a different colored marker. And uh, I also include a little bit of data about the whole day, how many unique hits, uh, how many hits total, and uh, how many IPs that Shodan was able to find uh, information for. So hopefully you found this project interesting, and uh, if you'd like to see more like this, then check out my channel. Thanks for watching.